Well, it's the third snow of the season. Looks like we got about three, four inches of snow. But today's video, we're gonna look at our babies. I think we got about 18 of them finally. We lost so many eggs. I think 23, four eggs the first round or so. And then have some babies about ready to hatch and the birds get off the nest, just all kinds of issues. So I need to start a lot earlier next year for my one loft races because I'm way behind right now. But we'll take a look at the babies. All right, here's two more babies of my white grizzle and my blue bar pied pencil that raced for me last year. The other two babies, I sold them this past weekend, but these two will go on my race team. And of course, there's the mama and there's the daddy right there. They both placed eighth place for me in two different races. I'm excited about their babies being on my race team this year. All right, here's the little off on the hill hen and Sparky over there on the nest, two eggs. And then there's their baby. This is the one I'll be sending back to a little off on the hill. The baby right there. Calm down, mama, calm down. She looks a lot like her mother. Not as much white around the head as the mother has. Has the white flight, so same kind of blue checker. And she does have a little white around her head, but not like the mama. Won't be long. Wiener and then center up there. There's the two babies off the black mottled cock and the tiger grizzle hen. They're feathering out pretty good now. And I think one of these is gonna to go to Lucky 17. You can race grizzles up there. They'll pay out a couple of places on those. And I don't know where the other one's gonna go. I could send them both up there, but I'm not for sure. Still trying to figure that out. All right, here's my Polish hen and Polish cock. And the baby back there is the one I'm gonna to send to the Hoosier Classic. My first time to send there. And I believe that's the one I'm gonna send. Okay, now these babies, that's the Mr. Jones I got from Kevin Jones, the cock. And then the hen, this is my Polish hen. She's the daughter of those two Polish ones I just showed you, the originals. Here, get off the babies real quick. Let me, sh let me show the babies here, get up. I think that one right there, she just stepped on. I think it's gonna have quite a bit of white on it. All right, I won't mess with you. All right, now here's my other Polish hen with my recessive opal cock Wolverine. Let's see y'all's babies real quick. Yeah, they're getting big. Pick it up. One's probably gonna be like her, and the other one I think is gonna be like him. The first time I got a bird that looks similar to him off of him, he's always throw dark checks. Unless I put them on that recessive opal hen, then they'll throw colors like her. These will go to one loft races somewhere. All right, there's the boss right there, and that's his hen. They're the ones that produced our, our blue bar pies last year. And that one that did good, that's their two babies. These will be for my club races. Look like this one here is gonna be a pied like them and this one, don't know. Cause they threw three other ones that were uh, different. They wasn't pied, had a little splash on them. Uh, I'm trying to remember what color they were. They were more darker color. They wasn't the pies though. We're hoping for quite a few pies this year. They're very pretty birds. And that one of theirs raced pretty good. The other one did okay, and then I lost one in settling. All right, here's my blue bar pie babies. Thomas Six, granddaughter, and Keys Bouchard cock. And this little one here, this is a cock. I bet him the other day. It fought me all the time. I banded it when I was banding its sister. It fought me. It's got a lot of character. Okay, he thinks he's he thinks he rules the nest there. Hey, buddy. I'm going to send you out to a wild off somewheres. Maybe Master Breeders Marathon. I'm not for sure. 
we'll figure it out. All right, there's our two babies off of uh, Mary's time machine. And Patea Pete, calm down, buddy. One of these is going to Master Breeder, Breeders Marathon. That's where my wife wants to send one of hers. And the other one, we're not for sure exactly where we're going to send it. Maybe Apple Cup. Don't know for sure. Figure it out later. Now, these two babies, uh, the one up front here, the darker check, is off the grizzle and my Wolverine hen, recessive opal checker. And then the one in the back is out of that loft back there in the back off of one of my old birds, late hatches that I'm going to be racing this year's old birds. So, but this one here will go to a one loft race. Two eggs. I don't even think they're any good. I'm going to have to check them real quick. But that's all of our babies. And I just threw out an egg off of this one. It's supposed to hatch tomorrow. They quit sitting on it. Grows up. All right. Well, y'all know that my two yellow Trentons turn out to be hens. I bought them as a pair, a cock and a hen. And so then I needed to try to get me some cock birds, some yellows. And so I remember it on Mandara Loft, he always talks about Jerry and his yellows. That he has racing yellows down there in Florida. So I've been watching him for probably about four years. And so I thought, well, I'm going to call. So I called down there several times. Nobody answered. And then uh, my wife looked on the internet where we had got those Trentons from. And she goes, hey, you have a guarantee on the, if, if it's not a, a cock or a hen, um, whichever one that you got two of, they'll send you another one, uh, replace it. So we called them and they're going to send me a replacement cock for uh, the one that turned out to be a hen. Well, anyway, in the meantime, Jerry called me back and I got uh, ordered a couple of yellows from him. I believe these are called, at least on the band, it says yellow um, travelers. I've never heard of them before. But anyway, I know that he has these as racers. So I want to try them. And then he sent my wife actually an extra pair, which is a yellow one and then a red. The red's the cock, the yellow's the hen. Tell you, my wife's getting in the pigeon business. All these pigeons people keep giving her. <laughs> She's got a long way to catch up with me, though. <laughs> Can't wait to get some babies out of these and test them out. Well, there's the look at our babies. Well... Have another video out by the end of this month. Maybe we'll have some new babies and have some of these pulled, weaned back there and getting them ready for the one loft races. And then next month, I'll be getting ready for my old bird races, start training my old birds. I'd like to invite everybody to like our videos. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel and keep following us along as we race pigeons.